So first of all, hi everyone. My name is Danielle Corral. I'm the Farmland Preservation Program Manager with Local First Arizona, and I manage the Coalition for Farmland Preservation. So we work uh, to, like the title says, to actually preserve all the farmland that is being uh, lost or displaced because of rapid urban development and water issues. So we work with farmers that uh, either to help them find new land or to try and work out the situation where they won't have to lose the farmland in the first place. And as part of that too, we also wanna make sure that we're supporting uh, farmers that are new farmers, beginning farmers, helping farmers that have been um, farming for like, you know, it could be anywhere from five years or less or even more and helping them find resources and capital and just creating also just very accessible training and resources that our farmers and ranchers can use. So with that, um, we've created Good Food Finder website and this isn't totally new. It has been up for many, uh, several, I think it's been up for like maybe seven, eight years now with Local First Arizona. And before it was just a place, a directory. So like consumers can find when they wanna go buy local eggs or local beef or local pork, they could go to the directory and look up some ranchers or farmers in their area. And we decided to turn this into also a hub for resources. Cause as we're working with farmers, uh, you know, those who have internet access and stuff, we like to have a one-stop shop where they can go to to find resources easily. And as part of that, we really wanted to make it accessible for them to find resources to capital. So of particular and what's being discussed today, um, although I do encourage you to just like, as a consumer to take a look at this website, we have a lot of interesting pages. Um, you can learn a lot on various topics, like even on the learn tab, we'll have food sovereignty voices from the field, which is highlights a lot of our urban growers. Um, environmental action, you can learn about some of the water issues that are going on right now. And then we have a great series called Good Food, Good Food Film Series, which highlights a lot of the issues that we have in our food, uh, food system program as we're trying to bring more awareness to how important it is to, to build and have a local food system. But for today's, today's topic, there's a, a couple of tabs in particular that are really helpful to farmers for resources and just beginning farmers in general. So under the grow tab, if you go to a beginning farmer resource, this is a page we created for someone who's just getting in the space, right? And maybe needs some, okay, what resources are out there and just helping me either with apprenticeship, actual hands-on training, um, what educational resources, what, what websites, webinars can I go to just to learn and become familiar with agricultural topics. So we have a couple of different um, apprentice programs going on right now that we've linked to and that people who are getting in the space that want to do hands-on training can do. And then under additional education resources, this is a lot of the USDA resources and other ones such as like for veterans or for women's, um, just leading it to the page. So again, it's meant as like a one-stop shop, right? So you can kind of just explore in one space what is out there and then you can decide maybe which route is best for you or which is most helpful and this is definitely not all ex exhaustive but we really try and make it so you're not just going you're like where do I even begin right or like where's what's this website where's that website we try and put it in one spot so you can just have this landing page and just check out all the resources um you know in in a in one place so also we have one for funding and land purchases um, we are hoping to build a, an even better tool, like a farm link tool to help farmers with as land becomes available as farmers are transitioning out of like growing cotton in our alfalfa or they want to grow different crops. Uh, it's on our wish list to create this farm link tool, which we will put here if we create so we can start pairing up new farmers with land opportunities. But for right now, we do have places where you can go to to find uh, farmland that's potentially might be of interest. So again, just exploring this top page for anyone who's new. And then if you go to the top, we have these blue buttons for access to capital, distribution channels, food system resources, and adaptive agriculture. And these are kind of lead you to our tab under agribusiness. So this is the tab we created specifically to really help with that business side, that access to capital, and like, okay, if I'm a grower, how do I get access to certain market channels? So if you click on that and you first go to access to capital, um, a couple things I'm going to highlight. So one uh, service we offer at Local First Arizona is the Arizona Economic Recovery Center. And this is where we will actually pair a farmer with a, a grant writer. So if you're in this space where you're applying for grants, you know that is can be a little bit tricky. You know, um, they've, USDA and other programs have been trying to make it easier to apply for grants, but it still can be quite a bit of work. 
So if you reach out to us, we can uh, help pair you with a grant writer to help you um, apply for those federal grants. And these are, these are like the larger grants, the ones that are a little bit more complicated. So that's one service we really stress to farmers just to be aware of. And then we highlight some of the bigger, larger grants that we work with at, at Local First Arizona, which is to include a Graham and Greenlee uh, microloan fund that we're working with them. Um, and then below that, we highlight some of the most popular USDA farm agency uh, resources to capital. So whether it be loans, grants, some of the ones that we know farmers go to the most often. So again, it's like a one-stop place that you can kind of just check out all of these and get a feel for the lay of the land of what loans or grants or tools um, might be working for you. And then we also want to include some other ones throughout the state. Flagstaff Food Link is a great place to go to for grant information. Um, and I think someone's gonna be talking about this, but NRCS has a lot of different grant programs. So we talk about some of the most um, popular ones or the ones that are used often. And I think you know they'll go into that, but there's a lot of great grants through them. So again, we've just highlighted ones that you can kind of take a look at and maybe see what will match with what your need is or with your operations. And then we also highlight Central Arizona Land Trust. We're working with them right now through a conservation easement program. Um, so they're a great resource as well for who to go to for like um, ideas for grants or access to capital. So that is under access to capital and it's just worth kind of just going, you know, digging in around and seeing what um, all the different resources that are out there. And then if we go under distribution channels, this is what we've created to say, okay, so once you know you're growing things, where are the different markets you can use? So we give an intro to all the possible markets that might be of interest to include like selling at a farmer's market. What does that entail? How do you get set up? Um, you know, what any kind of certifications do you need or who do you need to reach out to? So that's one tab. If you want to start a CSA, what is a CSA about? How do you get started with that program? Um, things to consider before starting one. And then selling at uh, food co-ops, we highlight some that we have in the state, some uh, movements going on there, like some produce. Phoenix Food Co-op is going to is developing even more eventually they'd like to have a storefront so that might be a good place for farmers to sell their product. And then we go to some other like institutional procurement market stream so this can include stuff like farm to food bank. There's a friends of the farm program which is great for a lot of our local growers are a part of so we talk about that program and um, just some of the things that they're doing through this program how to apply for it. And then we go also into farm to school. This is a uh, one way of institutional procurement that I think is really underutilized. We're hoping to get into the space more with some of our local growers, but here we'll kind of, if you're interested in this place, it gives you like an overall view of some of the challenges, some of the things to consider, um, a couple of different organizations like Pivot Produce that is starting to work with schools. So again, just a place where you can kind of just dive in and see what resonates with you, what can work with your operations. And then if you have further specific questions about something, a grant or something that piqued your interest or you wanna go for, you can always reach out to us um, and we can help you like pair you with a grant writer or just answer some questions or even just put you in contact with someone who knows about that grant program. And this is my kind of landing page under Farmland Preservation. Um, it'll talk about what we're doing to work to protect farmland and the coalition itself. Um, again, just like if you want to, we have a newsletter you can join if you want to be in the know of what we're doing. Um, it goes straight to me. You can also reach out to me directly. And yeah, any help that you all need as a farmer, producer, uh, we're just really big on making sure that our farmers know that there's a whole community out here that wants to make sure we're supporting them and that there's resources for them.